What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And today we got Chris Cooley through the years. Now, um, for NCAA 03 and NCAA 04, I forgot the E in Cooley. So uh just deal with it. I do apologize. Please don't be too mad. Anyways, man, we're gonna kick things off in NCAA 03 where he has 72 overall, 51 speed, 63 awareness, 53 agility, 60 catch, 62 carry, and he also comes in with a 53 break tackle rating because he's so strong. Now, his first year in college at Utah State in 2001. He played in just seven games. He caught a grand total of three passes for 21 yards plus a TD. He also in 2002 played in 11 games. They set at running back, caught 31 passes, had a grand total of 502 yards through the air and four TDs as well, making a big catch over the middle. It's cool E. It's cool E. Not not Coley, but cool, cool. anyways, man. Um, 86 overall in NCAA 04. He also has 68 speed, 84 awareness, 65 agility, 79 catch, 65 carry, and then a 67 break tackle. The big tight end from Utah State doing his thing. Anyways, man, when we look at his numbers for his final year in college, they look like this. Played in 10 games, caught 62 passes for 732 yards. Oh, he, he averaged 11.8 yards per catch and 60 TDs. The year before that, he actually averaged 16.2 yards per catch. So he was a monster, if you will. So his career numbers, they look like this 96 receptions, 1,255 yards, averaging 13.1 yards per reception and 11 TDs. And he is a 79 overall when we add the two games that he was in. And that's what you get. 79 overall for his college football video game career. Moving on to Madden 05, where he is a rookie at 69 overall, 71 speed, 59 awareness, 73 agility, 78 catch, because you know he got them hands, 65 carry, and then a 62 break tackle rating. His rookie numbers, they look like this. He played in all 16 games, started nine of those games. He was targeted 63 times for 37 receptions, 314 yards, averaging 8.5 yards per reception, and he also had six TDs. Not a bad rookie season if you had to ask me. Those are some pretty solid numbers, you know? So anyways, man, for ESPN 2K5, they had him a little bit lower at 64 overall, 75 speed as he's rumbling, bumbling, and stumbling, 50 for his route running, 86 agility, 60 catch, 65 carry, and he also comes in with a 67 break tackle rate. And he played with a bunch of quarterbacks, man. My man Cooley, he played with a bunch of quarterbacks. But Chris Cooley, he was one of the better tight ends, man, better tight ends slash four backs especially in Madden I mean Madden was showing him some love when he was listed as a fullback in Madden I'm just saying as he makes a big time catch right there across the middle on the post pattern but let's move on to Madden 06 on the PS2 where he comes in at 79 overall, 76 speed, 70 awareness, 76 agility, 85 catch, 65 carry and then he comes in with a 66 break tackle because he's telling fools to get up off me just get off me and that post pattern with the tight end is straight cheesy going across the middle with the qb vision straight cheesy too man with chris cooley no linebacker can stick with them he, he was a glitch I, I think he was a glitch i don't really remember running with the redskins too much you know I me mean? unless i was throwing the ball to my man santana moss the little boss but anyways man let's move on to his overall in madden 06 on the 360 where chris cooley comes in at you think it's 79 overall no it is actually 84 overall for madden 06 on the 360 76 speed 70 awareness 76 agility 85 catch 65k and a 66 break tackle and what was the cowboys secondary doing right there and i wish they would do this more often for me, I love it when the Redskins wear the white jerseys and they force the Cowboys to wear the blue jerseys. Because I feel like the Cowboys just don't wear the blue jerseys enough. That's just me. I wish more teams would make them wear the blue. Just for me. For no other reason besides I just want to see the Cowboys wearing the blues. So yes, just for me. I'm that stingy, that selfish, and that worried about the Cowboys wearing their blue jerseys. Yes, I am. So anyways, you're going to see those hands come into play. That 85 catch over Roy Williams. You know he can't cover you know Roy can't cover. Madden 07. Chris Cooley is 98 overall. Now, you got to take it with a grain of salt because they had him as a fullback, but with tied in attributes. So, it is what it is. But 98 overall, I ain't hating. I'm just saying. 82 speed, 82 awareness, 82 agility, 90 catch, 68 carry, 82 jump. Now, for his 2005 numbers, as I forgot to go over them, he played in all 16 games. He caught a grand total of 71 passes on 103 targets, 774 receiving yards. 
yards and 7 TDs. For this season, 95 targets, 57 receptions, 734 yards, averaging 12.9 yards per reception, and he also had 6 TDs. Madden 08, he is a 90 overall player yet again. 83 speed, 84 awareness, 87 for that catching, 86 for that route running, 87 for that catch in traffic, and a 76 spectacular catch. His numbers for the 2007 season look like this. He was targeted 110 times. He caught 66 passes for 786 yards, averaging 11.9 per reception, 8 TDs, and he made it to the Pro Bowl, y'all. He made it to the Pro Bowl. Madden 09, after that great season going to Hawaii to play in the Pro Bowl, he is 92 overall in Madden 09. 85 speed, 85 awareness, 88 catch, 93 route running, 89 catch in traffic, and a, and a 79 spectacular catch, which isn't great for a tight end, but it also really isn't too bad. Now, anyways, his numbers look like this. So Chris Cooley, he played once again in all 16 games because he's an Iron Man. He was targeted 111 times. He caught 83 passes for 849 yards, which is a career high. He also caught a grand total of one TD, but he did average 10.2 yards per catch, and he made the Pro Bowl yet again. So back-to-back -back Pro Bowl honors, chilling in Hawaii, making the family happy to go on vacation after the football season is over. Madden 2010, Chris Cooley comes in at 91 overall with 79 speed, 87 awareness, 89 catch, because you know he got that stick -em on his hands, 93 route running, 89 catch and traffic, and a 79 spectacular catch over Brian Erlacher's head. Anyways, man, when we look at his real-life numbers, they look like this. Now, I just said that he was an Iron Man until up to this point when he only played in seven games. But he was targeted 45 times, caught 29 passes for 332 yards, averaging 11.4 yards per catch, and he also had two TDs. That's right, count them, two TDs. Chris Cooley chewing up the Chicago Bears secondary, but the secondary for the Chicago Bears was never really good outside of Peanut Tillman. Anyways, man, in 2011, he comes in at 89 overall, 78 speed, 87 awareness, 89 catch, 92 route running, 88 catch in traffic, 79 spectacular catch, and Donovan McNabb throwing him the pass down the sideline, taking on those Philadelphia Eagles. Now, for his 2010 numbers, they look like this. Played in all 16 games yet again was targeted a career high 126 times. They're like, you're back, we're gonna feed you. He also caught 77 passes and he also received 849 receiving yards, which ties his career high from 2008 when he made it to the Pro Bowl. He also had three TDs and he averaged 11 yards Per reception and right there he's getting a lot more than 11 yards. I hate this route and Madden. I don't know why they stop like that, but they just do. I can't fix it because I didn't make the game. It just it's ugly. Madden 12 with Peyton Hillis on the cover. Chris Cooley comes in at 87 overall, 78 speed, 87 awareness, 87 catch, 88 route running, 85 catch and traffic, and then a 75 spectacular catch for Big Chris Cooley. Now. His numbers look like this. He played in just five games, was targeted 13 times, but caught eight passes for 65 yards, averaging 8.1 yards per reception, zero TDs, and a long of just 17. So Chris Cooley was starting to catch the injury bug just a little bit. But when he retired, I must say, I, I wasn't shocked that he retired. I was just like, where did he go, kind of? He kind of just like disappeared. I knew that he was a free agent, I believe. I believe he was a free agent, and this didn't sound with anybody. I'm pretty sure there were offers out there. He just didn't take them. That's what I believe. Or that's what my notes tell me. Anyways, man, Madden 13, 79 overall, 77 speed, 84 awareness, 85 catch, 82 route running, 79 catch in traffic, 74 spectacular catch. And yeah, so his numbers for his last season, he was playing fullback slash tight end, according to my notes. He played in uh, nine games, but just started two of those games, was targeted just three times, and caught just one pass. He only uh, gained 88 yards, and he only had, yeah, one pass, eight yards. That's crazy. But anyways, we add up all of his overalls, and we divide them by the number of games that we got. We get an 83.8 overall rating for my man, Chris Cooley. So until next time, y'all, hope you guys enjoyed the video. We got some more through the years coming soon. We got some team through the years as well. We're going to get back into some NBA when NBA 2K18 drop, which is really right around the corner. And we're going to do some team through the years in NBA as well. But until next time, oh, let me tell you his career real numbers real quick. He had 33 TDs. He had a grand total of 429 receptions for 4,711 yards, averaging 11 yards per reception.
But anyways, that's gonna do it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, I enjoyed being to you. Hope that the rest of your day is the best of your day. Until next time, y'all. Peace.